tropical rainforests are home to more plant and animal species than any other habitat on Earth. In the ocean, however, there are habitats with a comparable diversity of species, tropical coral reefs, the rainforests of the ocean. It is currently estimated that there are approximately one million different animal and plant species living here. In coral reefs, species diversity extends to many different groups, of which many are exclusively marine. This is true of hard corals, the main reef builders, Without them, coral reefs would be unthinkable, like forests without trees. Sunlight is just as important for tropical coral reefs as it is for trees, because the corals coexist in a symbiosis with single-celled algae. Sadly, rainforests and coral reefs have even more in common. Both habitats are seriously threatened. The destruction of the rainforests can be seen quite easily from the air. Although this hasn't stopped their destruction, it has raised public awareness. Coral reefs are being destroyed at an even higher rate, but this occurs mostly unnoticed below the ocean surface. The destruction of the corals not only eliminate thousands of species, the consequences are also disastrous for the human population in many countries. Hundreds of millions of people depend on the reefs for food and for their livelihoods. Coral reefs need our protection. Each one of us can contribute because the greatest threats to the reefs originate from the industrialized countries and are directly associated with the principal environmental problems of our time. The Australian Great Barrier Reef is the best known reef system in the world and has been under protection for many years. The national park is managed by the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park Authority in Townsville. But even here, there is great concern regarding the new global threat that is becoming apparent. The question, which is the greatest threat to the reefs, has a fundamentally new answer. If you had have asked me that question five or ten years ago, I would have said overfishing and water pollution, because they were the most serious threats to coral reefs, and they still are very serious threats to coral reefs. But with climate change now rapidly descending upon us, we're starting to see the effects already of increased temperatures and changes in the pH of the oceans, in the acidity of the oceans. Acidification for coral reefs are being studied at the University of Queensland. Professor Ove Hergulberg directs several research groups on this topic here. Well, it turns out that coral reefs are a dynamic interplay between calcification and erosion, so storms that take away calcium carbonate. And if you change the calcification rate of corals by just 20%, you suddenly have more erosion going on than there is calcification. And at that point, reefs start to shrink. Now, if this keeps going, the predictions are that we might lose 60 to 80% of the calcification that goes on on a reef. At that point, we'd have erosion dominating and reefs that would literally fall apart.